Alright, what's up guys? Um, welcome to Scuffed Commentary. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Yeah, I forgot to... The, oh, where, when? When oh. did you get this? When? <laughs> when? Dude, it's so, it's, so, it's so fucking fuzzy and... Oh my god. Might as well get I'm, my own button. I'm a tempted. I, I want to sit. You know what? Fuck it. I'm the only one here. Oh my, my god. No, no, the fucking cable. No, it's too late. Okay. You can do it. Alright. No, I meant the, it's like the cable. Alright, here's the match. Okay. All right, cool. Um, yep. So uh, we have Mega Man versus um... Sora. <laughs> I forgot. <this> <laughs> I was, I was said Lloyd. I was said Lloyd. <laughs> it's a fucking Tales of Symphonia. Yeah. Okay, actually, like legit. I'm like, how does he play, Mega Man? Uh, you know how he plays in his Mega Man games? Yeah. Like that. But like, how does he kill people? Like, you can't. He has moves that kill. He like, has his forward smash. He has his mega buster. The B? Uh, forward smash. Oh, forward smash. It's a projectile. Smash. Oh, okay, okay, okay. His forward air is pretty strong, and so is his back air. They're mm. just physical attacks. I see. But I guess like, uh, 
it's more of a zoning character than, than get in your face, right? Like something like that. Yeah. And then he's got lemons. Lemons. Oh yeah, I do. I do remember the lemons. Which so is guess, jab, forward tilt, and nair all in one. I guess it's like closer to your style than with a Wii Fit trainer, but just uh, more spammy. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Anyway, what I will say, the interesting thing here is Rockin is historically been a Zelda main, so mm. and now he's playing Mega Guy. I see. I mean, it's like a fatter chic. <laughs> like yes, I don't know, bro. Yeah, it's Zelda, of me. Zelda. Yeah, oh Zelda. This Zelda. isn't melee where you said <laughs> Zelda. Yeah, and no, chic. I know. I know the, mo the moment you said Zelda, I just went chic. You know, a fucking melee player. <laughs> I'm like, who the hell plays Zelda in an actual competitive? Match? Thank God. <laughs> oh God. Oh, this is great. Oh, dude, nice combos from uh, Dark Rai. That's cool. I have, like, I remember the last time when I was watching here and I was doing some commentary. Well, not me as the main commentary, but when I was watching, like, uh, one of the later matches was uh, Sora. And I think, like, his moveset's pretty neat. It's just that he seems to talk a lot. Sora? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Devin hates that, too. Yeah, he talks a lot. <laughs> he talks a lot. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, freeze, <laughs> fire, it's, thunder. It's so, it's so fucking obnoxious. The only reason why we're used to it is because we play Puyo Puyo Tetris. Oh, my God. Which is more obnoxious. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The lightning goes through uh, through platforms? Yeah, that's that's a thing. Some moves can just go through platforms Dude, in BS. Ultimate. That's BS. It's nice. I, it's nice, but it's not BS. Sora exclusive. Okay, what other? How many characters can do it? Uh, well, Yoshi's Ground Pound can go through it. I know, but you have to hold. Pikachu and Pichu's Thunders can go through it. Oh, now it. it does it. Now it goes. Okay, that's cool. Like you can go through platforms even in melee. You just press it and hold down when you're, you know. Doing yeah, but you can't pound. do that with Yoshi's Ground Pound. Mm. If you're doing a move, you're stuck. I thought you could. No. You go through a platform with the Ground Pound? No. You sure? The only thing that can go through platforms in melee is like foxes up B, and that's it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh. I thought you could. Maybe, maybe I'm smoking. I mean, it's been a while since I played melee. Or maybe I did confuse it with Smash, or like Smash Ultimate, I mean, where you can go through platforms. <laughs> what? Dude, he was frozen for like 10 freaking seconds. He That's is at 170. Oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't I didn't pay attention to the to the health. Well, I just called it health, bro. It's like the damage meter. All right, good game from Mega Man. What's the, what's the chance that Rockin uh, pulls out the Sheik again? <laughs> Later. The Sheik. The Sheik. <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose, I swear. Here, here's another match to commentate. <laughs> Yo, oh my it's god. It's non-stop action here on the quad stream. Is that Devin? Is that That's Devin? Devin. That Yo, let's go Devin! Let's go Devin! Let's go Devin 3000. Not a T.O. Let's go Devin! All right, swag. Let's go. Wait, can is is that like is he hard stuck on? Uh... No, he can switch. Oh, he can swap Pokemon. It's okay. Oh my! Oh my! What the fuck? <laughs> no! Super Mario. Mario can combo. What game is this? Oh that, my god! Okay, so yes, but that was not that was not real. <laughs> did he like? Did he di in? Is that why it happened? No, he just didn't press air dodge for some reason. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah you like, can just mash air dodge. You can up air forward air like that is not real. Yeah, I'm like that. That cannot be a real combo. Just no way that would happen. Here, let's watch this one because it looks funny. Instant replay. Or uh, it has a Ganon on the screen. I like Ganons. Everyone loves watching that terrible character. And uh, and she Mart. What's what's her name again? Lucina. Yeah, there we go, Lucina. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> God. Melee Ganon can't do that shit. <laughs> Yo, you're wrecked. <laughs> you know Lucina's stick in this game, right? Yeah. No dippers. Oh my goodness. Yo, Yo he tight. He tight. I would not. <laughs> I love the bait. It's like, not, it's like, it's not even, what you call that? He's not even hiding it. It's just like, so overt. It's like, you know the game plan, but <laughs> you know the game plan, but you can't do anything about it, bro. That is so obnoxious. It's oh actually hard because Ganon has the lowest ledge hang in the game, too. So oh. you can't even, like, hit him while he's just oh hurry grabbing God. the ledge 50 times. No, but is, is this, like, legit how Ganon's playing this game, or is this, no, like, some no. cheese? No, okay. Ganon's played by, with strong mid range. Okay, I'm like, so, so he is, down this is just cheesing each other. Okay, cool. I wanted to press down it. I mean, he's a stock up. Why not go for cheese? Yeah, I know. I'm like, play to win, dude. It's kind of funny though. Like I'd be, I'd be tilting. Oh my! Yo, okay, Swiss is tilted. Yo, Swiss is playing in tilt controls. Oh my god! 
Did we do we have face cams? Oh my god, he uh, died. We do not. Oh, he oh that was the end of the set, actually. Oh, he died. That was so strong. He won. He got two oh. games with it. Oh my god. All right, let's go back to uh, Devin, I guess, because that looks like it would be interesting. Oh my god. All right, anyways, yo, let's go, Devin. Devin, stock up. I know let's you go. love watching Mario do his thing. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm, I before before I got into playing Fox. Well, no, like in general, before I knew about the greater competitive scene, I played Mario, Dr. Mario. And even when I was like, you know, you know when I was learning how to play with the boys, I was playing Dr. Mario <laughs> and Yoshi. And then sometime, like a few years later, I sold my soul and played Fox, which was a mistake. Because that actually, that fucked up my wrist. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. Ooh, nice cave. Oh, it's down. Wait, what? Mario's down air is a kill move in this game. Yeah, I was like, what? That doesn't kill? It's hard to hit, though. Mm. Yeah, because there's like literally no range. I'm like, who the hell uses that move? Well, that's why it kills. Ooh, combos. Ooh, ooh, oh, hey, let's go. Oh, it's up B, up B, up B, up B, up B, yes! Yeah! I'm sorry, Devin. Oh, wait, he's still alive. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's great. Yeah, this game is fun. It's, it's so cheesy. How uh, oh how useful is uh? I, it's not. Okay, it's not. <laughs> Thank you. I'm I, sure I, like, everyone watching knows what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <wait. laughs> I'm surprised they still kept that move set though for Mario. I feel like they yes. could have literally added anything else, especially when yes. you have freaking like what like what's the newest game Mario Galaxy? Odyssey. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, Odyssey's the hat, right, Cappy? What are you talking about? Cappy is in the game. When Mario does up B, there's a <laughs> one in five chance of Cappy being on his head. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, like, they could have implemented, you but know... But solved it. What up? Plenty of people are surprised that Mario's moveset is still the same from yeah. you went Melee. From, you went from Sunshine Melee. Bro, he never had that in Melee. There was... Okay, one move changed going from Melee to Brawl. So it's Melee. Yes. Well, no, it's like melee with, with Brawl down B. Oh my god. Damn. Mario needs Ooh, a big overhaul. Nice recovery from uh, Devin. So do plenty of characters. Ganon, Kirby, Sonic, they all need all right, a bit moment more of truth. expression. Moment of truth, can Devin finally convert this into a W? It's also 1-1, one, one, so... Guess, oh, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, it's not, it's not? I'm a liar. I changed the score myself. Hmm. So it's a 1-0? Yes. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. I feel like, uh, I feel like uh, Mario's having the better off-ledge game. That kills? Okay, that Hasn't it kill. always? Oh. No, uh, that's not a kill move. I guess, okay, so does that, like, does that tilt you, like, the fake when no. he, it, like, pauses the game when it's a kill move but doesn't kill? If it was guaranteed, it wouldn't be exciting. Mm, that is true. And I don't mind. People have gotten over. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Damn, he just kept repeating it until it worked and actually worked. That's wow. the Smash 4 right there. Do up smash till it hits. Up smash pressure, bro. Like, he didn't even. He just stood still and Devin walked into it. That's Alright, here you go. It's Bowser. Alright, yeah. We had a uh, context as me and uh, Junior had a conversation back in the car when we were driving here. Is Bowser a good character? And Number says he is a good character. For more context, for people who don't know, I am Junior. Yes, hello, Junior. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no one calls you Daddy Junior. <laughs> yes, anyways, Junior. <laughs> you dude, can call me Junior. Dude, the, he should cook the banana if he flames it. And what would that do? Make it not slippery? Yeah, make it not slippery. It becomes like a solid projectile. Oh my god. I wish, I wish Smash had interactions like that. And it's like a uh, random, random percentage that, like, instead of dropping a banana, he drops, like, a pile of turd. Boom. Alright, now we will see how quickly a lead can evaporate in the hands of Bowser. Let's go, Bowser. It's Bowser gaming time. I mean, I don't know. I feel like of all the characters, 
I almost said DK. Diddy, Diddy has like very good pressure where he can just keep hitting you nonstop. I mean, that is what Diddy does. But Diddy, honestly, if he can't hit Banana, he has a hard time killing. And mm. that is exasperated. At, blah, English hard. Exacerbated even more when you're fighting the likes of Bowser. That is true. Just I guess, like, uh, how many moves can Bowser, uh, what you call that? Super armor for Diddy Kong. Yes. Yes, I see. Yeah, right now, Bowser's getting toyed around. That doesn't matter, though, as long as he's alive. Yeah, he just he needs to, like, hit you once with this, like, gigantic... Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh my god. That doesn't do that much in melee, bro. No. But he has, like, a massive startup on the B, though. How yeah. many frames is that? <laughs> oh my god! It's not super fast, but it doesn't matter sometimes. Is it like, was that a dash attack That kill? was up tilt. Oh, it doesn't, so it dashed to up tilt. Yeah, it's one thing uh, Ultimate has over melee in terms of movements, that you can do anything you want out of a run. Hmm. Well, you can... No need to crouch first. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can, like, there's ways to do it in melee, but yeah, you're right. So it's just like very natural. One of the few things Ultimate's got going for it. Over melee. Also, we can roar. <laughs> Ooh, oh man. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to like up be out of shield. Ooh, ooh, nice read, nice read, come on. I don't even know, like, I, I'm rooting for Bowser actually. I like Bowser. Everyone loves Bowser, Bowser's unless cool. you're fighting him. Bowser's cool. I guess, uh, how big is Bowser's grab range? Average. Average. So it's not it's not like Mart. So it's like it's longer than Mario, but less than Mart, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It's what you expect it to be. Ooh. No one has like an insanely sized grab except like Rosalina. Oh yeah, she has a she has a Oh he tried Still to go alive. for the hard read but it didn't work out. Still alive. That sucks. It's Bowser time. Don't stand up. Bull! And that's Renee a load me. of bull! No! He did not even touch it! Sure he did. Bowser is wide. He's wide, but, like, dude, like, instant replay on that shit. He was... Oh my goodness. No time for that. Also, okay, I forgot to. Alright, Swiss is back. Swish. Yeah, at least right now he has to leave, and there's no Ganon on the opposite end tilting <laughs> the hell out of him. Also, also impressive that Swiss was able to recover after that tilting match, so I do respect that. Swiss doesn't really get tilted, though. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know the player, so like, I, I respect that, you know, because if that was me, I'd be tilted, man. I'd be on tilt controls. Banana. Wow, that is so dumb. He slipped on his own banana and still didn't get punished. I'm not sure if you know this, but when you get tripped in a Smash game, your uh, wake-up options have less invincibility. Mm. Well, I still got away with. <laughs> Interesting play. That was calculated. The future isn't written. It was calculated. That was actually incepted by uh, Swiss Rider. All right, hold up. I see Ganon. I see Ganon. It's right. Ganon time. Let's go. It's Ganon time. Two, one. Go! Muna was the one that uh, beat the Bowser, right? Huh? Yeah. Muna, okay. Yeah, yeah you kind of have to infer who's who, but DK. Yeah, DK. DK is playing not as any monkey, but playing as Ganondorf. Or Ganondorf. Ganondorf? Yeah, Ganondorf. I guess like uh, how does Muna like stand in top like within New York ranks? Because he seems to be playing solid. Infernape is pretty good. He's not on PR, but he can definitely threaten oh, PR. Okay. He can threaten PR players. Oh, okay. How how big is PR? Like the PR list? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Do ledge stand? Never mind. Oh my oh! god! We call it the punch. The long arm of the law. So wait, how fast is uh, his tilt? Um, the energy legs, forward tilt, F tilt. I'm not sure. Something like 12. Mm. I feel like he should spam it more. Oh, I hate that banana. It's, it's tough in this game though against Diddy because he blocks one move. All he has to do is press A. 
Yeah, no, well, when, when he lays down the banana, just kick him in the face with your energy legs. Energy. <laughs> wrong, wrong tilt, man. If that's forward tilt, it would have died. Oh, oh, he fell for it. Got him. Is there like any special combo scenarios that Ganon can do? Or is it just like hit someone really hard and has, just keep doing it again and again? He has down throw soft dash attack up air. Okay. It's really annoying. You see that ledge hang? Yeah. Can't can't touch him. Now those bananas are a pain. They are. Nice. Nice, let's go, let's go. We get in game. No! Oh my god! Stop, stop, like. Stop falling for that. Just just literally just queue up a hard read smash attack on the spot when Diddy flips on his own banana peel and you're 69, nice. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I thought that's gonna kill! Oh, oh energy legs! Oh. Kick it off! Kick them in the face oh. with your energy legs! No! <laughs> what is this game? What is this stupid game? Here, go look at characters you don't know anything about. Oh my god. That was good though. What is this stupid game? Oh god. Hey, hey, I know, I know, uh, what's his name? So what happened was, after he got his hit... Mm -hmm. After he got his hit, uh, he accidentally fell off the stage in directional air dodge, and okay, that was so, all she wrote. Um, who, so Cloud is playing Melee Cloud. What's his name? Melee Cloud? Yes, Melee Cloud. Oh my god, is that Ken? Oh my god. Oh my god. Melee Cloud takes a game. I should just... I should just, I should just <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's not Ken. Okay. <laughs> That's not Ken. <laughs> bro, I don't know this game. Stop. I don't know this game. I play Melee, bro. We don't have these characters in Melee. <laughs> wow. We got these characters in Melee. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. All right. So now we're back to this match again. Will uh, will Corey up B to death again, or will it be a different outcome this time? Oh huh. no. <laughs> nope. I mean, at least he didn't kill himself with up B. So that's a good constellation. All right. Let's go over to this one. Let's go, Devin! So... Let's go, Devin! One of these two players has a game. I don't know who it is, though. Um, what's, uh, what's the, what's, like, uh... I guess who ha I'm trying to say, who has the advantage here? Is it, um, Ivysaur or, uh, Furry Lucario? I... Ivysaur? <laughs> okay, what's his name? Uh, tell me the Pokemon's name, because I'm gonna keep calling him Furry Lucario until you tell me the name. Chester Cheetah. Okay, Chester Cheeto, alright, awesome. Yeah, that's, that's totally the name of the Pokemon. <laughs> no, he's in the he's in the stupid he's in the Pokemon Unite, right? No he's not. He's not? His name is Incineroar. Oh it's in What? It's not the it's not the electric Pokemon in uh Pokemon Unite? This is a recolor. Oh okay. You're thinking of Zerora, which oh, has yeah, a similar yeah, sounding yeah, him. name. Yeah, 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 him, him. This is the uh this is the Chester Cheetah color. Nice. Ooh. That Damn, confirms yo, Devin, ridiculous. Devin even hasn't like lost his stock yet. Let's go. I mean, Incineroar isn't an amazing character, so you gotta work hard. I mean, yes, yeah, my first time seeing him being played by someone <laughs> out of all the Xenos I've been to, dude. It's said that Incineroar has some of the best moves in the game. Stop, stop reading the Pokedex, bro. Unfortunately, he has some of the worst mobility in the oh, game. Oh, let's go Devin Gaming! <laughs> Devin Gaming! Good shit, good shit. I wonder who won. Oh, okay, Devin wins 2-0. Good Kingdom job, Devin. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Sora. Kingdom Hearts. Hey, look, another character. That's salted. You know who that character on the left is, right? It's not no, Ken. It's not Ken. <laughs> it's, a, it's Sword Ken, obviously. <laughs> Scored Sword Ken with his like long sword. 
Tech? Oh, we tech though. Oh, Massachusetts oh, no Institute jumps. of Nevermind. <laughs> Nevermind. Massachusetts Institute of Tech? <laughs> yeah, of tech skill. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh. Jesus Wait, what, what is that move? No, 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 what is that move? That is Sephiroth's Mega Flare. Oh, okay. It sucks. They say it sucks or? It sucks. It sucks? I like Sephiroth. Do they have, uh, do they have uh, his song in here in the game? Yes. Sweet. We cannot play it. Oh. Uh, so it Because Square Enix is very fun. That's lame, dude. I guess we'll just stay on this for now. Yep, everyone's like, I'm looking at all these games. You know, I'm gonna hit them with the two minute ad. All right. So, how you doing, Salty? Put the mic closer to your face. I, well, are you, are you, I thought you put in ads. It, so? Subscribers don't see the ads. All oh, right, that's and right. people rewatching the video don't see the ads. I forgot. I forgot. Get that. Eat that, Mike. That's right. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. What? Can can the sword go through the stage? Like under the stage? What are we saying, Sultan? Uh, Sephiroth's sword, if he, like, uh, oh, does a down aerial, does it go through the stage? It goes through the stage. Damn, nice. It spikes through the stage. Heals. That was a very, very horribly aimed laser. I'm sorry, but don't worry. Don't worry, it's okay. I believe. I believe. Where where does uh where does Rob go in uh top five top five okay who's the top five I guess that's it is a little bit up for contention but number one is guaranteed Steve Steve oh yeah right. and then Remember. after that you can make combination arguments of like Sonic Rob uh Palutena maybe Joker hmm. Pyra and Mithra oh, okay good good I like that. Pyra should be top five. Should she? Yeah, she's top five waifu, bro. I'm getting up. Devin's like pointing at the screen that my name is there. Wants me to get up because he wants to commentate. <laughs> right, I'm getting up. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the Dill versus Vessel set. Oh, no. Junior has been kicked out. Later, Junior. Junior. John always has the game audio. Mad low. Yo, he That's has it at low. What's up? No, he has it low. I thought it was like pretty high. Uh, maybe in your head. Probably. How you doing, Devin? I'm chilling. Yeah, I saw I saw your game with the JV3. That was nice. Thanks. It could have been a three sock. I just knew I didn't have to tech. I'm like, I. It's yeah, like, here we are. Oh, just get the get the kill. Oh, he did not yeah. tech. So like, how many how many players like are in your pool? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I just, nice. I just show up to when a match is called. Sounds and then good. I go. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Listen to the microphone, dude. We're gonna have Swiss Rider joining us on the mic. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Great hello. to see you. What's going nice on? You. I'm doing great, man. Now I forget your name. I apologize. Don't worry. Like I'm, I'm barely here. I'm salted bread. But salted bread. Yes. Salted bread. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, the last time I had salted bread was when I had two dollars in my bank account. <laughs> so you're giving me some PTSD right now. <laughs> well, I guess uh, speaking of uh, PTSD, so um, can you explain um, what happened with the Ganon match? Because me and Numbers were watching that, and we're like, bro, this guy must be tilted. I, I wasn't tilted, I was... <laughs> this guy must be tilted, he's playing on tilt controls, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, it, it, nobody plays like Dumpling King, so it's uh -huh. always an experience. And I, I want to chalk it up to just getting scared. Like, it happened the first set, uh -huh. I mean the first game, right? And then right. He, when he was up a stock and he just started like hanging on ledge, I'm like, I know what he wants. And I don't know what to do here. <laughs> okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because yeah, I know him. He's got the patience of a god. He will be there and not move an inch. So I'm like, okay, trying to find a way. Because if I make a mistake, 
I'm done. That is true. I feel like the Senior, especially in general, especially you know when you have someone like John Numbers Two who will camp the hell out of you. I feel like everyone has just learned. You know, I guess you gotta camp, right? Yeah. Well, you know, if someone is camping and you want to beat them, you gotta learn how to start forest fires. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Now Twidark over here having uh, actually beaten Devin and what? Ha a Castar man? Not on stream, buddy. All right. Looks like uh, maybe his uh, controller is uh, getting a little wonky. Forgot that he didn't have a double jump. And you know what? Maybe he didn't need that stock. Or charity stock. It's all right. Charity stock. It's okay. We have a lot of charity cases here in New York. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds meaner than I meant it. <laughs> All right, but let's see if Castar Man's gonna be really mean with these combos. Both Mario and Pichu Ooh, very combo what? heavy. I didn't even know Pichu could do that. What the hell? Well, Pichu can do a lot of things. Anything yeah. Pikachu can do better, can do uh, better. Pichu can do slightly all right, and uh, that is the kill. <laughs> Damn, I did not expect Pichu to take the W. Uh, how do you think Tidar feels here? He's salty, man. Salty, yeah. like salted bread? Yeah, probably more than <laughs> not, not like like bread on top of salt. That's that's what he feels like, man. Pikachu Raichu. I'm starting to see what Pikachu Raichu is doing here with the name choice. They're hoping to evolve into a better Pokemon eventually, but you got to get through John numbers first. Yeah, it's not getting <gasps> the taunts. They're Yo, feeling the it. Disrespect. All right, but let's see if they can capitalize on that. Nope, you played lowercase, bro. It's over. It's okay, they got one more stock. If you get one stock off of John, like, that's a win in and of itself. That is, that is. He, he will, like, hold on to that stock as long as he could. All right. And what I'm liking this idea of the drag downs into the forward tilt, it is a great confirm. And using that to cover uh, space right there with the uh, Thunderbolts. Mm. I mean, so Pikachu Raichu is doing all the right things here, but John Numbers is playing with their hearts. And with that, they take one stock. I mean, you said he's doing all the right things, but I think he chose the wrong character in the character select screen. Mm, yes. But, you know, good fight so far. He took down one stock on John Number, so already, right? You said it's an accomplishment, I do agree. It is? All right, they get back. No! Oh, oh. Unfortunate. You always have to be careful with those smash attacks. John doesn't think about those. He just throws them out and they, like, they kind of work. <laughs> yeah, he does. I mean, like, honestly, so I was watching... Uh, Diddy Kong, right? Like mm -hmm. two other Diddy Kong players. And what kept happening was he would slip on his own banana and then he'd roll forward and then his opponent would run to where he slipped instead of standing still. Because ah. his opponent would always roll at the same spot. And I don't know, like no one's caught on to this. And I, I know Numbers knows this. Like he's done this matchup so many times and like I know he gets that read. So I'm just like wondering, like, I guess like when that happens to people just like blank out and it's like oh man he tripped i gotta attack him instead of just waiting it out the number one mistake i think people make when it comes to competitive games in general whether it's smash street fighter or even just your job is being on automatic mode right. when you're like okay you know i know this game i played it hundreds of hours it just comes naturally hmm. like even john john doesn't play on automatic mode he is always aware of the situation no matter whether you're a pr player or somebody new to the scene mm -hmm. You should care, man. He's here to make your life miserable. <laughs> you know, I think uh, I think people are feeling very happy today. Speaking of miserable, mm -hmm. um, you know, because Ooh. a lot of folks have gone to Miami for Let's Make Moves. You, Miami, nice. Good old Miami, but John Numbers isn't. He's here to represent the local. He's here to have a good time. And everyone's like, oh, all the heavy hitters, Bugs, Vivi, they're not here today. Easy money. But John here. Easy money? Easy nah, nah, nah. John, Dumpling King, they're not going to make it easy. Just All right, let's go. I trust. All right, John with a nice little taunt there. Trying to return the favor from the last game. And getting a shield poke. Pikachu Raichu trying to edge guard very well and surviving till 200 as Pichu. Wow, what game is this? <laughs> this Pichu is should Super not Smash survive. Ultimate. <laughs> Pichu should not survive to 200. Gosh, I think uh, Pichu just... If you ever chose Pichu in Melee, you just exploded on the start screen. Yeah, like, pretty much. Like, yeah. you just... It's over. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Melee player, so that's what I'm basing all of my Pichu knowledge from. All right, Pichu... Pichu's a pretty good character in this one. They're not... Uh, they're not like poke and die. Yeah, I mean, I saw I saw a Pichu combo where like aerial into like down air, bounce off the ground. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I like that. So how do you feel? Is this game since you're a melee player? Yes. Do you feel like this game is uh like watching molasses go down the streets? That's bro. This is actually okay. <laughs> this is okay. Ah, uh, 
heated butter. Yeah, this is this is okay. I mean, like obviously, you know, you're used to melee, everyone zooming around, but like the pace of the game here is like a lot of like it's it's not just everyone pushing buttons. It's like a, I guess it's a good mix of pushing buttons and using your brain to do things. Yeah, right? I, I like that you're saying that we have brains playing this game. Yes, that yes, that you're makes welcome. me very happy. You're welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, really good job getting that forward smash. Going off to try and... Nope. Uh, Isn't able to get the full does that forward spike air. the forward air? Or no, no, it does not spike. But, uh, like, it does a multi-hit, and the last hit is always really a big knockback. So I know this is a thing in Melee where, like, if you're, especially if you're playing the spaces, you do, like, the forward air, mm. and then the, because they fall fast, they they fall too far down and they cannot be anymore. What is your main in Melee? Well, I, uh... When I started, I played Dr. Mario. Oh, no! Almost no! got it! Oh, that could have been the it! the wrong direction, yeah. Yes. Oh, and John with the excellent DI, avoiding certain death. Then can John ever survive? I don't think John ever is going to survive this. Not with that stage bike. Oh, no! And messed sucks. up the recovery! You never want to lose like that, especially when they're doing so well that last oh. stock. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, anyway, so I was playing, like, I played Dr. Mario hmm. and Yoshi, because, you know, like... Why Dr. Myself. Mario? I understand Yoshi. I mean, you know, you could be the second Yoshi to do it. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, hell no, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Or the first one. Dr. Mario to do it. <laughs> the first, nah, absolutely not. No, nah, it's like, well, it's just, I just chose Dr. Mario because it was fun. I guess, like, uh, back then when I started playing Melee, Mario couldn't kill yeah. with any attacks except for smash attacks. But then Mar Dr. Mario could kill with the forward air. Oh, it yeah. is a very funny move. Yeah. And this is a funny matchup. We got Sora versus Che. Che uh, going the. He always says that he is retired. Don't don't believe it. Don't <laughs> believe this man. Oh, I know that. I know this player. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm retiring. He shows up the local two days later. What's up? Yeah, I'm out of retirement. <laughs> retiring was boring. Do you know there are no good games out there? <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> All right, but King always an excellent player here. One of the best PTs we have in the area. As you can see there with this coverage off stage. So hard to edge guard oh. Sora. Risks it all, has that stock, and Che goes down. Went for the risky play, going straight to uh, Ivysaur, but nope, just got smacked. But that was a smash attack, right? Forward smash? Yep, that was a forward smash. Yeah, in the just face. a big ol' headbutt. If you know your Pokemon moves, you'll appreciate that reference. Visual <laughs> reference. Now we got Ronkin. Ronkin is going Mega Man. Not a common pick for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, numbers told me uh, he made uh, Zelda. It no. was pretty funny because every time he said Zelda, my mind kept thinking Sheik. Because I'm like, who the hell plays Zelda? <laughs> who plays Zelda? The cool people play Zelda here. <laughs> who, the, who the hell plays Zelda in a competitive setting? <laughs> listen, listen. It's not about winning. It's about sending a message. That is true. And uh, the message here is that Rockin is considering a uh, higher tier character that is projectile heavy. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, uh, their Zelda is very excellent at zoning, mm -hmm. and they have some hard-hitting moves that they love to use. Their spacing on those on those sweet spots are so good. But uh, we're starting to see this adaptation here from Ronkin to Mega Man, and they're, they're just playing this like a Mega Man game. Jumping and shooting. You'll yeah. love to see it. Do you have a favorite Mega Man game? I love Mega Man X. Ooh, yeah. good choice. It's Mega Man X. It's like always, I've played that quite a bit. Like I, That was the first time I played a game where, like, you have different orders of completing it, right? Yeah, if open you, ended. The original Dark Souls. Yeah, exactly. I thought that was really cool. cool. What's really cool here is this great conversion. Rock and living yeah. until 154. Come on, Chris, you're Ike. Yeah, I feel like I'm saying, yeah, he's yeah. Ike. I'm like, how, how are you still alive with 154? I think just Chris is struggling to just maintain stage control here as Rockin is facing out with these blades, with the back air, and now he's just taunting? Yeah, so he's shield. Yeah. Chris is even throwing out attacks. I feel like he should just, you know, do a little bit of poke, but he's too scared to approach. I think Chris in another life was a gunslinger because these quick draws are coming out very often and very fast. <laughs> Ooh, nice. There we go. Nice hit. Forward tilt. Finally learned another move here. He's one that I can kill quite early. Go go through the stage and get some damage to get 69. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> well, it is what it is. But 74, this is going to be a little tough if Crifts can capitalize and find a combo starter with a neutral air, a down tilt, or maybe a back air. Oh, oh that was that was, a, that was the slowest <laughs> kick shield crap I've ever seen, dude. It is one of the worst in the game. Oh, my goodness. That sucks. All right. But what sucks here is being in the corner. Oh, nice Finally get that there grab. Go, there we go. Spike. There we go. I think this is... Oh. No. Okay. Maybe trying to cover the air. Brock and instead covering the horizontal distance. Have a crash bomb. All right, you know what? A good trade. Nice jab to get at least rocking up to 39. Now, people like to think it's over, but Ike with Rage at 150? This is dangerous. Because Mega Man's not a heavy character, despite being made of metal. 
Yeah, I did realize that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, I think he's dead. Should have let her rip a little sooner. As long as uh, Rockman can actually edge guard and cannot capitalize on the good fortune. Ooh. Ooh that, that does kill. Chart. Okay, number said that killed. Okay, that does kill. That kills, yeah, that kills, yeah. That kills very early. Setting up with some good edge guard situations. Now, what do you think about uh, Beats over here with Athoth? Wait, what oh, sorry, Athoth. Athoth. One of uh, Joker's moves. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I was just like, my brain turned off, bro. Oh, my God. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so you yeah, have nice, uh, nice seeing Salted you, Red, Swiss. it's been great yeah, playing. It's been great, great casting with you. Yeah, you have a good time, and uh, come on, stick around for some friendlies. Yeah. I know I know that's not your game, but, uh, you know, maybe give it a shot. No, You'll find Dr. Marvel. Yes. Hell Let's yeah. go. All right, awesome. Yeah, see you guys later. Catch you soon. All right, now, while we switch off casters here, we do have our next set with uh, Vita and Aethoth. And welcome, Force. It's lovely to see you. I'm digging the uh, the sweater. And, uh, you know, don't know how much you want to divulge here, but uh, congratulations, as always. We're going to be saying that for a long time. Until the one-year anniversary. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Hello. 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 I don't know if I'm out yet. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. I got a thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm going to change your name from Force Armor to Mr. Force Ooh. <laughs> I love it. No, in, in, um, unless he took his wife's name. I don't know. <laughs> in, a, in a perfect world, I got my nails done before coming to the venue today. So I'd be like, nails? whoa, look Aww. at these nails. What's that on my finger? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see this rock. Well, what is it's, this? That's it's a very a, nice rock. Yeah, tungsten, fire. I don't think the the camera can no, get no, it. No, no, no. But it's beautiful. Yeah. I love the it's, I love the shade of green. It is tungsten, so it will never break and will be impossible to resize. So nice. hope my finger doesn't change. It will not. You know what? It'll, and that name just rolls off the tungsten. <laughs> but what's right. really rolling along is this game right here. Aethoth really covering all the angles that beats. Uh, is Sorry, that's... Uh, Aethoth is the Pichu, I believe. Yes, yes I apologize. Yeah, Beats is the uh, the Joker player who, like you were saying, is rolling up a snowball here with this first stock. Snowballs will always hit a wall, though. Yeah, eventually. Electricity gets pretty hot. It'll it'll melt eventually. But I mean, global warming. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Listen, if the electricity doesn't kill us, the planet will. All right, but before then, we're going to enjoy this game of Smash and everything before we start having to be a licensed event. This is the unlicensed rogue pirate DJ, pirate radio. Yo, they pirate never Smash? need to know that we serve water, okay? Oh. We can stay unlicensed. Water? You mean Nintendo branded <laughs> yeah. uh, They, they uh, don't uh, need to know hydration. that there's Poland Spring in the <laughs> menu. I think you mean Merrill Spring. Yeah. Squirtle Wait. water. <laughs> I don't think Squirtle water is, like, drinkable. I, if you treat it. I guess, yeah. But who's going to treat these electric birds? Squirtle, fill that Brita. <laughs> <laughs> Squirtle. <laughs> oh, but Aethoth right now is treating us to a one-stock situation, bringing things right back into their favor here on this, I'm assuming, game one? This is game one. And winner's quarterfinals over here in wave B. This is looking like a brawl to make this top cuts. Yeah, let's oh, no. see. Veeps now with a little bit of momentum. Gets a little bit spooked there by the T-Jolt. No Rebels Guard or anything to be found because, of course, that could lead into a grab for Aethoth. Do you think Those this is going to be the last surprise, though? Ooh, let's see. Big Brother Arsene is home, but Aethoth with no fear. Should have had a little bit of fear. Oni-chan coming on Just, through. You know, fear. Don't forget this feeling. Keep, don't forget this feeling. And set it for me. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. Never forget what it feels like to lose. It'll only fuel your next match. Speaking so of true. next match, we got Helper and uh, Samuka. I do not uh, recognize Samuka, but I always enjoy watching a Sheik play. Ooh, yeah, and having Helper to even stock. So definitely seeing some good Sheik play right now. I huh. like the DI cross up there from Helper. From that uh, position on the stage, it could have been a back throw, but back throw is reactable as far as the DI goes, but just got caught with the big old happy yeet from Sora. Yeah, I'm liking these uh, little ledge traps here, but so far, Sam Samuka, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Samuka, if you're watching the VOD, I apologize, <laughs> but I will not apologize for enjoying your gameplay. Just Sam, I guess. Sam, Sam Sammy. I Sam, Sam the man, Sam the man with the plan. And as we're going here, they're going ham, or not. Yeah, kind of getting caught, mashing at a disadvantage here by Helper. Helper is such a good player. Once he gets that momentum, because Sora is able to just 
have these like this this layer these layers upon layers of pressure thanks to the spells and the long lasting hitboxes. I think one thing that a lot of Rushdown players like uh, Sheep Ooh. and Bayonetta or even like Fox, uh really I think what they struggle with when they're desperate is they start mashing because like eventually it's something's gonna hit right. But if you really want to just mash, go play Skullgirls. And Samika <laughs> is going into game number two, down a game. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you have a fast character like that, you get it in your head like, oh, I have fast buttons. I'm being hit. I want to hit my fast buttons to get out of it. But sometimes you just have to realize it's not your turn. you got to wait just a little bit for it to be your turn to press yeah. those fast patience, buttons. Patience, little Smasher. Patience. Just like you learned in Smash Kindergarten. Good things will come to those who wait. Just like right here, we got Captain Falcon uh, Soko versus Ice Loves You. Also, these you don't are, want to go to that. I don't know. These are not two characters that I think wait particularly much. I Captain think Captain Falcon has to wait a lot more than Wolf does. Wolf can just throw out a smash attack and be safe. Mm -hmm. Or a forward tilt. <gasps> oh my what god, I cannot grab. believe you didn't get hit by that. That man like was watching the frame data being like, it's time. <laughs> Ice saw into the Matrix right there, getting that grab, just setting up a ledge situa situation, but unfortunately getting put right back to ledge again. Soko not quite feeling comfortable in going for another potential uh, forward tilt on the ledge get up. Now Ice living with full rage, and Uppy will be doing oh, it. Oh no! What are you that was so close! What was that whole interaction? They knew they were on stream. They had to do it for the fans. Soko just sat there and was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm chilling. <laughs> just got a little singe on the nose there being like, ew. <laughs> you know, it's, it's getting to be the, that fall weather. I'm just warming up. Yeah. Thank you thank for you. warming me up. Thank you, Captain Falcon. He's such a generous, kind-hearted soul. Yes. You know, you, you may have a, a bit of a facial damage after it, but uh, at least he won't be cold. <laughs> That's true. Ooh, Ice buttons. getting a little tricky there, trying to go for an uppy on the uh, platform after the pressure, but still able to find the stock with the back air. Now, the back air was really good where you got even stocks now, but Ice is going to have to stop being iced out, finally get uh, things warmed up here. As, all right, getting a nice combo, these low percentages working in their favor. Ooh. Ooh. Something really cheeky there, but, I, I mean, like we were saying before, Ice has been just pressing the gas, just 60 all the time, and Soko's been catching on to a lot of these and just weaving out a lot of, out of the way of a lot of these big hits from Ice. Zero to 60, no wonder Ice loves you is in behind. I mean, when you're playing F-Zero, you gotta go zero to a thousand. Oh, let's see, looking for a big scoop with that up smash, not finding it. Very afraid that they're actually gonna get pineapples. But instead, weaving in, weaving out, living till 159. Soko is not going out to edge guard. Quite surprised. Oh, <gasps> wow! What right an up into smash. the stanky leg. It was some. It, finally, they caught on to what Soko was doing to recover every time. Mm -hmm. It was that side special. And just, I would, I, yes, we have to see this. All right, manages to get on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no! Falcon Punch! Yeah, Falcon Punch, can we pause? Whatever. That was the elbow! Uh, my my elbow's that? a little warm, that's weird. <laughs> oh, it's like, ooh. God, that was so good. Someone switching to Bowser? And look at that. Gorgeous, they knew that exact timing. And Soko, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm liking the commitment to the villains. True, definitely a, a very villain pick. We're gonna see how it works. Oh yeah, I just noticed villainy. Villainy, Duh. yes. I see it. I see the vision. They what? are evil. That was an evil option right there, uh... just as much as that up smash. Now this is a very polarizing match because Captain Falcon wants to get in, make you combo food, and Bowser has a way of throwing out these big hitboxes that really keeps you out. You make one mistake, it's over. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing with Bowser that like a lot of people don't talk about. Bowser is basically a sword character against the rushdown of Captain Stop. Falcon. Look at that but forward it's true. air. That forward Ooh. air is just like better Lucina forward air. Don't don't hurt. Don't tell me things that hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's Whoop. okay. It's all right. Just like Guy says, you know what? I'm not going to let this deter me. I'm going to go in and hit good buttons. Oh my god! The up smash, the hero of the last game isn't going to come save you now. The time of the up smash is over. And it's time for a knee. This is what we're talking about. Once Soko is able to find those timings, when you have a character that can whiff punish as badly as Bowser. Uh-oh. Good. Hmm? Okay. I, I think they're going for it, but yeah. we didn't quite see it. 
and the spike as well. That's a three star. That's the confidence booster right there. Oh, and that was the last game. Aww. Well, GG's no, the both No, that's, this is game one, three. One. That was 1-1. One, one. I apologize. Yeah, Falcon yeah. was Ice and Soko is Bowser. Oh. Sorry, I saw them getting up from Station 1. I'm like, what? Oh, no, you're right. Oh! Oh, what? sorry, say that again. Was there a game? Okay. Huh? I was okay. right. Bet. I've been, Yo. It was just like, <laughs> he just won so hard. It was like, all right, you got it, bro. <laughs> you got it. I'm not, I'm not going back. Yeah. That's why I should have said against Dumpling King. <laughs> all right. But anyway, we got, uh, I believe, no. So far, we have no matches. No, we're, I, we're just chilling. Some small downtime here. But you know what? That is an excellent opportunity to start uh, shouting us out. I mean, we got Xeno Weeklies every single Wednesday right here at Xeno Zero Gaming NYC. We uh, do not sell water. We do not sell food. We do not sell any kind of merchandise. We're just playing good old uh, um, uh, fighting siblings. Super, uh, no, you can't say super. Lame uh, fighting siblings. Ultra, ultra cool. Remix DX. Punching. Turbo. <laughs> ultimate. No, dang it. Yeah. Oh, I get him out of here. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ready for the the new age. Expect to see indeed in your mail. Game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, this is always hosted by the wonderful House of Three Thousand. Follow them every weekend at Twitter, Blue Sky, Twitch, where you're watching right now, hopefully, or YouTube, where you're watching the vods, and definitely join the Discord server. It's always amazing. And if you want to hire them for anything video related. Check them out at, house, at events at houseof3000.nyc. Yeah, guys, make sure you are supporting your local scenes. And what better way to do so than by uh, supporting NYC's premier production? Now, I didn't want to take away from our games here. So if we could go to Traps Up and Jade over you on 21. Got it. Yeah, let's take, let's take a look. Station 9 plus 10. Okay, we got a Pac-Man. Pac-Man, not a character I've been seeing as much recently. So this, you, this you is missed definitely out on so this, is, yesterday. this is definitely game two. I just don't know who won game one. Uh, so just FYI, Schrodinger's game one. I'm gonna say just kind of based on the stage, it was probably Trapsef's game one. Smashville definitely feels a lot more like a Pac-Man stage than it does a Falco stage. <laughs> Because I mean, the the monoplatch just so good for characters who like the the layered stage control, where they just kind of plant their feet in center stage and just put you in an eternal ledge trap from any other part of the stage. And just like the the hydrant there, that is the the perfect part of that. Pac-Man puts the hydrant down in front of himself underneath the platform. He's built his own little house. He's getting Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man Jr. He's getting the whole family in there. Ah, uh, the eternal dr American dream of having a nuclear family. <laughs> but you know what? I don't think Chapstuff's going to enjoy that right now as they're on their last stock. Jade is uh, looking to take that away. Ooh, but Chapstuff, having learned a few things from Tilde, maybe, with this excellent edge guarding. Ooh, I love the high recovery mix-up right there from Jade to get themselves back into center stage because that's really the issue of this stage matchup is once you're forced from center stage, how do you fight your way back in? Especially with a character who is so good at stopping approaches like Falco. I mean, look at that up tilt. That up tilt covers so much space around Falco and he gets the world for landing it. Yeah, I mean, this is the reason why Jade is really pulling out all the stops here. You got the Galaga, you got the Fire Hydrants, you got the Fruits. Yeah, and the, the Reflector as well for Jade to contend with to get that uh, stage control again. Because basically, you know, you've got a frame one Reflector, you're not fighting your way back into center with projectiles, my friend. No, no. This has been a very slow match, but I think Traps have really slowed the pace down and it's been working in their favor. Instead of trying to go in, really challenge the Fire Hydrant and the Fruits, they're hanging back and waiting for Jade, not even going for edge guards here where you would think, okay, like you rush down character, they're going to have to make something happen. And Jade is retreating to the far end of the stage. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, what we're seeing right now is just Trap Steph completely taking away Jade's win condition and neutral condition. All right, but we got the bell. Oh my gosh. Yeah. With some good Z drops. We're seeing that uh, great, great use of the reflector. I'm actually shocked this is working out quite well. Yep, frame one. <laughs> frame one reflector. Yeah. You'll love to see oh, it. And you'll love to see that up smash. Off the up smash. And I believe that's going to be moving on to game three. Knock on wood, knock on wood. I can't uh, see them in the gamer dungeon cam, so I can't really tell if. Uh, mm, let's I see don't here. see anyone getting that's them. Uh, that's them on the top. Oh, okay. Left. Yep, they're going into game two. So All right. Roughly, they're still going. Uh, 
Shout out to our resident nurse, Jade, who has uh, come off a very long shift. They have their coffee. They have their croissant. Croissant? Hey. Excuse me, Jimmy. Do you have a croissant? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, croissants are delicious. I will not apologize. But you know what? Spoopy and Maximilian over there getting started, unless we want to stick with Traps F and Jade. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I think we've got a game three going, so I, I'm kind of partial to King Castle. Man. Oh, let's check it out or then. Or if, if any of our uh, our chat members have anything that they want to see, you can always donate those uh, those channel points. Yeah, if you forgot to have channel points, uh, start paying attention. Yeah, if you need a refresher on how it works, just do exclamation point match request. It'll tell you what to do. Ooh, we've got a fun little nightbot is, command is, now. Is that let's one go. word or is that two words? One word. Okay. <laughs> like, I forget how Twitch chat works. <laughs> I don't pay attention to it. It's fine. That one makes me a bad streamer. <laughs> Alright, Caster Man over here trying to space the Siege Ults. Ooh, nice cross up there, just going under King. Ooh, alright, the Pokemon swap keeping, Cas or keeping King rather safe from that Thunder, and now the Charizard is out, which means both players are pretty much the same um, uh, like distance even. from death. Oh, that was so scary. Potentially an up throw on the platform. Could have sealed King the stock, but instead now he is coming back from an edge guard. Another right. sweet spot. F tilt now putting Castar Man on the back foot. Oh, okay. But looks, my gosh, they make it back. And not going to kill with the stage spike. Trying to follow up in the air. Back air, up air. Wow, Ooh, what good coverage. Idea. And that's what Pikachu Raichu was trying to do uh, earlier this bracket. And you know what? Cast our man, aimed for the king, and did not miss. <laughs> yeah. Come for the king. You better come correct. There we go. That is what King was looking for in the previous interaction. How did he get the out of that? super armor out of fly. But was that a neutral air? Like, he grabbed him, and then, like, he let go immediately. I missed it. I was looking at the super armor on fly. <laughs> that's all right. That's okay. All right. But we are down to even stocks right now. King coming back to the Squirtle. Well, this is a tight disadvantage, so I don't know about this. All right. All right, good patience. Trying to pressure King here with all the T-Jolts, all the aerials. Ooh, that was very scary, but the neutral air keeping King safe from the P2 down smash. See, and I do, I do very much like the Ivysaur pick here from King. Just these long-lasting hitboxes from the aerials from the Razor Leaf, gonna be doing uh, great for keeping Castor Man out. Castor Man had a really good opportunity to get a tech situation, but it didn't happen. Just a little too high from the ground. What do we need to see from King to uh, readapt here? It still is even stocks. Yep. Pretty much even game here, back and forth. Yeah. Uh, you can see King wants that up. That up throw is so bad, he is just chilling underneath these platforms. Like, hey, come come misspace an aerial or something. Come into my loving arms. Oh. Cast our oh, man plays with a mouse and keyboard. Well, not a mouse and keyboard, but uh, maybe he should. Maybe that would uh, up his accuracy here. And uh, you know what? Tit for tat. We're down to our last thought. I think Cast our man just plays with a mouse. No, he just plays with a keyboard. No, the mouse. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, <laughs> it's a mouse and mouse game. Mouse and mouse. <laughs> All right, seen some nice patience there. Trying to bait King into approaching first, which kind of has to at this point. Ooh. Yep, these percentages are racking up for Castar Man, and he's got to be careful because, of course, you're playing Pichu, you're going to have the chip damage. And we've seen how long King can hold on to a stock when it really comes down to it. Oh, we're going to see right here if Castar Man's uh, star is still shining or if they're going to be a lackluster star and go into Supernova. I don't think you want to be a super. Isn't that when a star explodes? I mean, you explode in style. I guess, but I think Castar Man wants to live a little bit longer than one single game. No, no, live fast, die young, and leave a black hole behind. He is both exploding and keeping on to his life with that thunder. They've Moving got the momentum. To, yeah. And we're starting to see uh, Castar Man think about uh, their counter picks and their bans very seriously. And uh, shout out to the flannel. I was at Chipotle a little earlier today for lunch, and I heard this uh, woman behind me being like, flannel is disgusting. Why are you what? wearing that? I'm like, who are you? What's... Who do you think you are? 
<laughs> Who is she saying that to? Like, like her boyfriend. It's like, why are you was, wearing that? Was her boyfriend she, wearing the flannel? Or yes. Just, she oh, doesn't okay. like the working class. That's Apparently. right. Apparently. <laughs> That's why we eat Chipotle. <laughs> let them have a cake? Nah, let them have burritos. <laughs> let them have the guac. <laughs> the guac? Yo, for like five bucks? No way. I'll make my own guac. I'll go down to Puerto Rico and get my own. Thank you very much. All right, coming back into game two, Castar Man up a game. King with a little bit of a percent lead to start off game two, but percentages are coming back into Castar Man's favor as he finds this momentum. Castar Man trying to hang back. King is being much more aggressive, which I think is a big difference from the last stock that they had where they knew one mistake and they were going to be combo food. Instead, they're right now just going for those forward airs, but maybe going for those dash attacks and these forward tilts. No, racking on the damage. Yep, Ka or King right now back on the Zard, which he got so much value up in game one. Holding on to this first stock, he got quite a bit of rage on the board. And playing around this platform, you know King's looking for another one of those up throws, but instead finding the up special, the super armor coming through, getting King stock. It's a moments like these that King thinks, why do I play anybody else but Charizard? What was that? He footstooled out of getting back air? Yes. Don't, don't question it, this game is funny. It's and we're very back to funny. Yep, now Both trying to buy for neutral here. Oh, the jab reset, but wasn't ready to not be able to grab there. Yeah, Pichu's a little too small. You're not going to be able to grab off of that. All right, another jab reset. But unfortunately doesn't uh, let go of the jab sequence. So... That definitely could have been the stock for King. It was a mistiming there. And you know, when nerves are very intense right now, when you're down one game, you don't want to make a mistake like that. They can be cursing it if they go down one stock. <gasps> Barely misses the spike there. You have a great weave there from Caster Man, holding on to this second stock and getting the party started down tilt. Let's get it started. All right. Let's see it. Down throw. Just getting a little oh, bit more and damage. Maybe, and Castor you know Man don't says, drop that. let me show you how to capitalize off a jab reset. Take notes, King. I'm not I'm not going to give you two extra chances. I'm finding this stock. All right, King's going to have to play very space, very patiently here as they try and space out all these moves. Ivysaur, I think, is the is the correct Pokemon for this. What do you think? Instead uh, going for raw power. Yeah, it's uh, hard to tell, but even harder to tell what was going on with that Thunder, as unfortunately, Castarman SDs the second stock, giving King a second chance to get some damage on this uh, third stock with no extra credit to be found. Ooh, and already at 54%, if they switch off the Charizard, this is kill percent. Even Ivysaur can kill. Oh, no. Oh, all right, all are right. they going to miss it? There we go. Third hey, time's the charm. Let's go. Bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. oh, that could have been it. Yeah, not able to get anything out of that spike Ooh. down there. But King with the forward air going to be bringing us, bringing us in to game three. Oh, this is a very hot set, and I'm not talking just about the Charizard. <laughs> Hello, can we see what's going on on Station 20? I see Soko living to 232, Whoa. three Whoa. stocks to John Numbers is one. Who does this man think we, he is? Can Station we check 20? out Station 20? Copy that. All right, good luck to Cast Our Man and King in their next game. Uh, but right now, John Numbers is I'm gonna keep an a eye bit. on King Cast Our Man. If it gets close to the end, I'm gonna switch up back to it. Right. I I'm, appreciate that. But in the meantime, I'm very interested in seeing what this Soko Bowser has to say to Mr. John Numerals. I think he says, uh, "I'm gonna be the villain of the bracket today." <laughs> you are very lucky that there are no other top players here to knock me down. Can look at me, look at me. I'm the new top player. <laughs> can, can our hero John Numbers? The hero of House of 3000 uh, defeat the villainy? I think so. Be sure to tune in right now at House of 3000, twitch.tv. Or no, twitch.tv slash House of 3000. Oh my gosh, space that immaculately. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. As soon as Soko got put on uh, the main portion of Blast Zone, it's kind of been John's show as uh, John is working through Soko's second stock. He's only gotten hit once. Yeah, the writers are a little lazy this season. The villain seems to have make all the progress off screen. 
Like, come it's on, like, I want to see why they're villainous. It's like when Frieza is just like, I trained for another year. I have a new form now. <laughs> Can I please see a montage at least? Come no. on, writers, you have enough animation budget. Dragon Ball Z makes bajillion of dollars. <laughs> Sorry, yen. Bajillions of yen, which is like... It's still like... It's still, it's still a lot of money. Yeah. Ooh. And not that's going to do a lot of damage. Not as much as money as John wants to make out of his bracket tonight as he brings us now to even stocks. You want to know what's crazy? What's that? Yesterday was Fawn's birthday. And for, you know, like a bracket bonus, they threw in like $100. And John was like, let me contribute to that. Threw in 20 bucks, and just made his money back. It's like betting that's on yourself so at that point. That's so funny. What's uh. even funnier is that John is down again. No, going to be too living soon. town and city, the top blast zone. Great DI from John. He is living and bringing the percentages that much closer to even thanks to deep breathing. I don't know if you're going to be living a second one, though. Hey, now, hey, now. If this is only game one or game two, hey, there's always a twist before the happy ending. Yeah, you know, it's the it, it's the hero's journey. you got to get knocked down before you can get back up and Yeah, win. John may be questioning why they're here, why what's their purpose. And then it's like, come on, how far have we gone? <laughs> how, well, how many adventures have we been through together? <laughs> I don't once know who's again, talking to him right again, now. John but. going down a game just we're, to feel we're something. We're last off a piece on station one. Um, oh, oh, we let, let's, let's do go. it. Yeah, let's take a quick look. Quick? Ooh, man, hopefully not. Castor Man has got to fight back. We've seen a repeat of the same situation that we got last game. The Castor Man is uh, reading the tea leaves and being like, not again. I refuse to lose to Ivysaur. <laughs> Cute little uh, hitbox extension there off of the T-Jolt for King, getting him the situation. Oh my gosh, I'm at the edge of my seat. They're going to have to start making some combo food out of Ivysaur. If not, this could be the end. Spacing very well, gets shield poked. That being said, though, Ivysaur is such a defensive powerhouse. Castar Man cannot get too antsy with these approaches. Oh. Got to be careful of the forward air. And a nice clank there from, Woo! oh my gosh, weaving in and out, taking a lot of damage here. Oh, Gets the up smash. by the up smash, and that is going to be King moving on in bracket, taking it 2-1. Now, that won't be the last time we see them in bracket. I want to see this yellow flannel again. Got to ask him <laughs> where he got that. I'm a big fan of flannel. You know, they're looking like a uh, discount zap over there. <laughs> Working class zap. Damn. All right. But John Numbers and Soko right here. Soko having a bit of a harder time here, but 140 is Bowser. John better be prepared. Yeah, John with the percent lead right now does try to punish the Whirling Fortress, not quite working out. I love that angle on the soccer ball to catch the, the falling flame breath. And we see nice up airs trying to cover, risking it all with the forward smash. Hey, if John can get away with a raw forward smash, so can uh, Soko. I don't know if he particularly got away with it. I think he got put in jail for that forward smash. You know what? Jail just hardens you as a villain. It's true. You get to train for a year and then come back. I pumped iron all day, seven <laughs> days a week. Maybe that or the kitchen duty. Cleaning up the trash. All right, John Numbers and Soko virtually even game. John using a speed granted by the deep breathing to get the space that he needs and oh, no. find the forward smash on the, the down air. And uh, with a uncharacteristic taunt there at the very end. I miss that. Was that a taunt? It did. No, it, it was an up smash. I was going to say, it did just look like up smash. Yeah, you're right. My bad. So yeah, John bringing us to game three. Looked a lot more... Look, just looked a lot more in control than who, who chose seven rings in hand? Because it's just the chorus over and I over know, and it's over. It's so funny. You know, if John had his modded uh, switch, I'd be like, can you just get rid of that? <laughs> Replace it with anything else. Dude, I've been I've been putting more like songs in a music pack. I'm up to like 402 modded songs. Oh, gotta get that up to 420. Come I on, know. funny number. But, you know, there's nothing funny about this uh, last game. John knows the rules. Oh, did get, did get the spike hitbox, but not high enough percent to get the kill. John now in center stage once again. I like these callouts with the with the Koopa shell out of shield. Oh no, going for Ooh. the down smash and doing a good job of not weaving through the platforms like they did last game. Mm -hmm. I think Soko is a little in their own head. John just kind of weaving in and out. I don't know about this. What do you think they need to do to readjust? I definitely think they they may have to slow things down though. Right there, getting a uh, 
getting a scramble situation thanks to the Whirling Fortress, but he just hasn't really been able to get much off of putting John at the ledge. Okay, oh, nice little spot dodge from both of them, respecting each oh other, but there's my, nothing respectable mind. about my that. bad, Soko, reading the roll in from the ledge, such a hard thing to do, catching John from ledge. Oh no, John going for the grab, setting up for an edge guard situation. Ooh, okay, that would have been exciting. I'm a little surprised John didn't opt for the back throw there. He did have deep breathing online, so it may have gotten close to killing. If you're playing least. against a grappler or a heavy character such as Bowser, sometimes you forget how to play. Mm -hmm. John regaining their composure into the second stock. Yep, deep breathing F tilt, the great equalizer. Oh, hey, there's another chorus of the song. Yeah. There's another line. Usually <laughs> I don't get this far. Usually I just turn the game off in disgust. No. It's not even that bad of a song, but it's just so repetitive. Do, 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 do. Seven rings in hand. It's not Smash Mouth. Oh my gosh. It's Almost. a little Smash Mouthy. It's a little. It's, it's a like little discount bit. Smash Mouth. <laughs> Ooh, should have air dodged, but I don't think they would have made it back if they did so. Possible last stock for Soko here on Winter Side. Ah, getting Miss Facing that down special. Yeah, and now this is where Soko is going to struggle. John numbers with deep breathing, and you're playing a combo food character. Gotta be very careful. Deep breathing is gonna be coming back online as Soko has not shown that he wants to really go out for edge guards, wants to rely on reads from the ledge. Do you trust yourself going off stage against John Numbers? I wouldn't. I mean, sometimes you gotta mix it up unless you're you're just taking a bunch of sun salutations and soccer balls from John off stage. Ooh, and that back air. I think that's John's ace in the hole every time. That back air. It's <sighs> so fast. All right, this should be the stock. All right, nice Soko, little screen slam. Soko now with a ton of rage, but John gets to come down, build his resources instantly thanks to the respawn platform. Almost Ooh. breaking that shield that they just landed on stage, but they didn't believe. All right, John trying to just throw out Sun Salutation. That's it? That, no. That was such a good call out from John because Soko has done that falling flame and breath so often, together. but John just knows that a, a charged Sun Sal will break right through it. Yeah, I mean, if they're trying to create space, you got to just break through mm -hmm. it. Doors are meant to be kicked in. It's true. And speaking of kicking doors here, we're seeing a Spoopy can kick down Traps F, our, one of our best Falcos. Ooh, Ooh! And it looks like they have a bit of an uphill battle here, but it is even stocks. Yeah, instead it's Traps F who's going to be doing the kicking thanks to that up smash. But they're not going to go down kicking and screaming. No, not yet. This isn't a loser's side. All right. Oh. Traps F getting some space for himself. I love the Firebird angle. They're so, so that, that's such a hard angle to do. But let's see, Traps F hasn't been able to get these like huge party starter uh, combos. They're not much of a partier. They, okay, they're much more of a stay at home kind of guy. But if you're playing a much more slow paced Ooh. game, a uh, uh, character right, maybe like it's time Toon to leave Link. Your house. Yeah, Toon Link is going to be thriving. You're taking all sorts of chip damage thanks to the projectiles, the boomerangs, the bombs. The, uh, frame 1 Reflector is going to help you spooky. a little bit, but Trapsef cannot find his, just cannot get his foot in the door off this ledge. He tries to roll in. He gets hit by the back hit of F-Tilt. He tries to fall onto Spoopy. He gets up special for his troubles. Yeah, this Finally, isn't a though. situation like a Richter where you have to keep track of three projectiles out at once, but this is still pretty difficult when a boomerang is uh, set up Boomerang's to come back. back at every time. I mean, what else can you do? You can't wait it out every time. Yeah, Traps F getting a little bit antsy there for his turn to press buttons, but Spoopy finding the up air, and he is going to be taking it 2-0 over Traps F. Pretty fun stuff. And yo, is that the next uh, Kasoge game that we're going to play? Duck game? I saw <laughs> that. I know what y'all are planning. But what is Dill planning here against Infernape? Blazard. Not quite dead just yet. Looking for a snipe, but the fantastic flexibility of the Jetpack Ferals going to be keeping Infernape alive here on this second stock. Alive but well? How can you be well at 157? Yeah, definitely definitely bleeding out, but not going down without a fight. He didn't hear no bell. Ooh, the, I think that was the hitbox of the, um, the Jetpack Barrel breaking through the gyro instead of getting broken out of it. Infernape holding on to the second stock for dear life, almost 200%.
not getting caught by yet another uh, by yet another laser. But finally, still taking that stock. Uh oh. Oh, just slaps her out of there. Just get off of me. You're not down tilting me anymore. And here it Ooh. comes. Still maybe looking for a zero to death. Doesn't find it, but 54% off of one combo. It's going to be big. Infernape maybe just waiting a little patiently. Good back on. Oh, no. What a good roll in. Swiss, you got to go to Station 20. you got to go fight that Bowser. And oh, go <gasps> you're going to fight. Oh, you're going to fight the Bowser. i got to fight Soko. Go, oh. go usurp the king of the Koopas. Best of luck. I'm going to do my best. Defeat the villainy. Let's go. <laughs> But instead, it is going to be Dill defeating Infernape in a 2-0 set. And while we're waiting on Soko Swiss Rider, why don't we take a look at Ivy versus Elixir? Elixir right now fighting for their life, has Go Meter online, and... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. The key to victory lies within. Key to victory lies within. Thank you, Robin. Yo, yo. Hello, hello. Testing one, two, one, two. Come one, come all to another wonderful Xeno Wednesdays. I'm a little late this week because uh, I had work to do. So I had to pay the bills around here. But right now we have what looks like Ivy versus Elixir. That's a new name to me. Yep, Elixir playing Terry down a game right now against Ivy. Had a little bit of momentum there in the end, thanks to Go, but mm -hmm. Ivy pulling through. All right, so Rob and Terry, not a super common matchup, just because this game has so many viable characters. But uh, if I were to guess, I'd say Robin, you know, despite what the score actually says, I would think Robin generally has, you know, a little bit of a leg up, because Terry's Terry has good, like, Terry has legitimately good smash neutral, unlike most, you know, unlike the other FGC characters, but, you know, his movement's also very linear. Like, he doesn't really have a lot of wiggle room to mix up things, necessarily. And Ivy right now taking full advantage of that with all these projectiles and Levin aerials. Already lapping Elixir in percent. Horror gonna reset the situation off stage not able to convert off of the arc fire unfortunately and that is elixir now in center stage with go yeah, unfortunately uh like pivot smash attack aren't a thing in this game because robin's tilts aren't going to do much yeah but go offline once again for elixir they have just not gotten the opportunity the arc, arc fire footstool ivy please they have a family it's true Blue, Blue Mary and Andy right now are kind of looking at this, uh, this stream in disgust. That's what I'm like, saying. Just, you got to bail your boy out. Make it a squat strike situation. <laughs> Though, that said, Robin does get Chrom and Lucy in a bare minimum. Oh, I like the, uh, the little Levin sword right there covering the left side platform. All right, Elixir now with the stage positioning. See if they're able to do much with it. Looking for those starters, the uh, down tilt, the F tilt, but still hasn't mm -hmm. really found anything. Ooh, careful. Ooh, gotta watch the shield. I was expecting a shield grab after that, but just waited. Finds the spike, but the platform is saving Ivy's life. Yeah, Luxor has a bit of work to do. That's That's the first step. Yep. Now they just need to they just need to survive getting hit one more time and not being edge guarded and then uh, it's party time. Yeah, we're gonna see though because Robin this character hits hard. Oh yeah, eleven arrows. Eleven arrows are some of the best in the entire game, just flat out. Oh, oh misses the arc fire. This could be huge for Where Elixir. Where are you going? <laughs> Is anyone going here? Hmm. Did that just see Elixir straight? No! Missing the Thorn. Shock and horror. Alright, just thrown out. Up smashes. Elixir finding some momentum back in their Ooh. favor. Okay. Now, Robin is at killer percent. Off of a, Okay, oh, sure. Oh, oh. Throw, the, throw the book at him. Yeah. Why not? Ooh, good, good uh, mix up back to ledge. 
didn't get their shield. Did they not have, did he not have 11 sword? No, there it is. Expecting a shield break. Oh, oh waits for the spot dodge, and that's going to be it. All right, also just, taking things just reading bad habits like the pages in our tome. The set goes to Ivy. But so, right now, we have Jonathan Numeral Integers at it again. I know, I know we've got John and Spoopy here, but we did kind of hype up Soko Swiss Rider on Station 20 if we want to take a look. Let's go, both players. All right, we're going to see if uh, fellow commentator Swiss Rider, can, Swiss Rider can, in fact, defeat the villainy of Soko, who was really putting in work against John Numbers a little bit earlier. Well, how, how close was it? Uh, I, so first game uh, was, I, th I think, did Soko win first game? Yeah, Soko won uh, first game. If there was a game three situation at all, that's already yeah. better than most of us in this venue. Yeah, but Soko taking a three-stock victory over Swiss Rider. Yeah, Bowser is a big boy, but, you know, he, he's susceptible to big boy trappings, but it also means he's harder to kill, and... You know, the longer you take the kill, the more things can spiral out of control. Yeah, I mean, we, we talk about these big boys being such combo food, but Lucina is not a particularly, like, super combo-heavy character. Like, she she gets most of her value off of just solid neutral and mm -hmm. uh, just pokes. A, a lot of, like, quick one-twos, maybe a three if they're feeling particularly spicy, but... Mm -hmm. I do agree. Um, Marf and by extension Lucina don't really have much in the way of a dedicated combo tree. Let's see. So Swiss Rider taking us to Hollow Bastion, which is something I'm not entirely sure about. This feels like a lot more Bowser stage, just because I feel like his scrapping potential Cut is a little jump. bit better in, uh, in center stage. I think just in terms of being able to take space quickly and efficiently, Whirling Fortress just I, a little bit better. I'm not sure what the Whirling Fortress was to begin with. Uh, yeah, that that aerial one, I'm not entirely sure what Soko was cooking. Ooh, a little bit of a weave there from Soko, not quite finding the dash attack. Also, we are listening to oh. Dearly Beloved Swing Version. That means this particular switch has Cage Melody of Memory installed. Unless they added it to the, sh uh, the shop after the fact, I'm actually not sure about they that. They haven't. Uh, someone, a uh, good Samaritan, uh, decided to bring their copy in and put it in every switch. <laughs> well, good for them. Because we, you know, we, we need a copyright you. truck for one more song. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like Johnny Appleseed coming in and <laughs> putting his... just planting some small metal melody of memories. Yeah. What an awful Throughout game. The land. <laughs> <laughs> All they needed to do was make Theat Rhythm, but for Kingdom Hearts, and they didn't do that. That's all they needed to do. Didn't they put Kingdom Hearts songs in the most recent yes. Deep Rhythm? Yes. Oh, th there you go. That's why, <laughs> there that's you why go. they didn't do it. God. <laughs> they also put the World Ends With You songs in there, and I'm very, very grateful for it. Excuse me, you mean Twewi? Twewi? Or Twewi? Twewi. Twewi. Twewi and I'm so well, sorry don't for derailing this conversation. And it's, You're good. it's sequel Neo Twewi? <laughs> no, he's right. Damn good sequel. One of the best I've ever played. Uh, so Soko's just donating free stocks to the You Can Make a Comeback Foundation. All right, Flame Breath trying to set up for a, uh, a forward tilt two frame. Swiss Rider holding on Whoop! to his second stock, but not for long. Uh, wrong smash attack. I'm pretty sure either of the other ones might have just caught him on the way down. Yeah, and I mean, this is what we saw in Soko's set against Ice, is catching on to those, uh, like, disadvantage habits and using those, uh, especially, like, the down air and the down B to mix up the timing. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Don't let it be you. Please do not let it be you. Okay, up Back air. No. Try and set up a juggle situation, but these shield breakers have just not been finding their mark for Swiss Rider, unfortunately. I might be seeing a you, down B at the ledge. You really should have gotten punished for that. Yeah, re-grabbing against Bowser? Not advisable. That was a down air. That was, like you said, a down B. Like, just forward tilt at ledge. Yeah. Angle down. Okay. Yeah, get a, get a little what? bit of charge on this shield breaker, I guess. You I could think. have also got a little bit of charge on the forward smash and yeah. probably killed for it. Unless you're expecting, like, a panic shield, which, sure. <laughs> And once, once again, again, 
donating stocks so that you can make a comeback foundation. <laughs> Swiss Rider, please do not uh, look this gift horse in the mouth. Soko really trying to get those tax benefits right now. That's what I'm talking about. Game threes. <laughs> they shorten your tax returns. Ooh, all right. Got to be careful. Soko's looking for the side B just like that. Mm. Waiting for Swiss to make a move, and he is going to be taking that 2-0 I don't know over our boy Swiss. That definitely wasn't good DI, but at that percent, I'm not sure if it would have helped. Yeah, Lucene is not particularly heavy. I don't know if there was. She's if like there was she's a way like a middleweight. I'm sorry, I just watched John just boop spoopy down to the bottom blast zone it, with the header. It sure is John numbers. It's what the, he this do. Is, this is a certified John numbers moment. Mm -mm. And some of our heavy hitters I know are already either at the at their hotels or packing to go to uh, Let's Make Moves Miami this True. weekend. So uh, the you know the other big players that might contest John's win today are notably absent. I believe I could be wrong. Yeah, Soko, Soko surprise, definitely got surprise close. Surprise, surprise, Jan or Mr. E appearance. <laughs> But in the meantime, we've got Devin versus Reed. Devin up almost a complete full stock here up against Reed's swordsman. Mm -hmm. Reed still holding fast to this kind of early meta swordsman uh, setup with the Chakram and the Tornado. And definitely has been finding some value out of it, as we see right there, thanks to the hero spin. Was that, was that a true kill? Like I know, I know. Hero, or excuse me, Sword Fighter's Hero Spin is strong, but I don't know. That seemed off to me. Devin could have probably survived that. He went full horizontal. That's what. I, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. And you know, because of that uh, improper DI, I'm just gonna say uh, things have quickly swung in the opposite direction. Yeah, Rhea is pretty much taking complete control of this game, and right now is kind of playing just a bit of a better Ivysaur at range. If you think about Chakram versus Razor Leaf, I feel like Chakram's just a little bit better. And yeah, notably, there's no Squirtle at all. Mm -hmm. And even if Devin tries to set up the space with his uh, Razor Leaf of his own, Ree does run the Reflector like that. Hmm, and suddenly, suddenly it is Ree's uh, chance to find the stage control. Chakram. There's also just how much does Devin know about Sword Fighter things? I mean, Sword Fighter definitely not a character that you see super often. Mm -hmm. What? Re getting a little cheeky there, looking for the reverse hero spin, but Devin not biting. Oop. Once again, looking for the same trick. Flare Blitz? Yeah, I felt it. I felt it in my bones. Ooh, a fantastic parry on the tornado. Good awareness from oh Devin, knowing that Charizard is a tall boy, but that tallness is going to get him caught by the hero spin there. Ooh, okay. Fortunately, not uh, not uh -oh. sealing the deal quite yet. Oh, why are you getting up into Chakram, Devin? It might, even if like even even if Devin didn't get up immediately, it might have poked Squirtle anyway, just because he does kind of poke his big old head up there. He has like. Bottom five ledge grab in the sense that his head is all the way above the ledge. So it's probably getting poked. Big bulbous Jimmy oh, Neutron it. head that's and it. goodbye. What? what? Oh, okay. Oh. Devin almost. The footstool. Devin um, imagine, almost. Imagine though. Imagine. If he made it back. Imagine. Me. The tempo swing would have been ginormous. I just gave the point to Devin. <laughs> I don't know if that was game two or three. I know they fought before. Let's uh, go to the venue cam. They're still there. They so why you don't think this is? Down. You don't think this is game? Uh, that wasn't game one. I don't think it was. They were. They were already playing when we were uh, watching um, Swiss and Soko. Well, we'll find out. Let's go watch more Bowser. Speaking of Soko, more Bowser. Mm -hmm. Bowser. It's from Bowser. Are we in top 24 territory already? Yeah, we've been there. Okay, that's just make sure. I'm not sure how many entrants were entered today. We had a clean 32 entrance, so. Oh, ooh. That's, that's good, actually. We'd love to see it. Not a shingle buy in sight, she? Not a shingle one. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Number One C. <laughs> Look, man, I just don't like playing round one. Listen, we all we, we all have to play around one sometime. It just is. 
Wow, that Levin Fair hit from deep inside. This is the funniest Levin Sword I've seen in a long time. All right, getting a little bit of heal off the command grab. Soka's My still turn. holding on to this set stock, but not for long. Yeah, I don't know what else you could have done. Yeah. That's why Robin's a master tactician. All right, Soko now with no rage online. Gonna have to work Ooh. just a little bit harder to find Ivy's first stock, as we see right there. Definitely full rage forward air would have killed there. Ooh, yeah. Good catch, Gotta actually. Gotta be careful throwing out those disadvantage moves like that. What would have been a normal grab for most players. Instead, he took to get some handy dandy health back, which every percent matters, especially for age. Ooh, a little bit of layered shield pressure with the Levin Sword, but instead it falls into Soko's hands. So he's able to find a potential ledge trap here. This... Uh, all right, is going to be he able to find almost stop. lived that. Yeah, I know. And... what? Wow, big boy. All right, that works too. All right, let's see. Soko now down a full stock up against Ivy. Has to find his way through all of these fires that Ivy's setting. Gets his top of his head caught there once again. That's a clean 45. And all these projectiles, the entire the kitchen sink raining down on Soko's head. Which is kind of funny, just because, like, Robin historically suffers against, like, faster characters that can close the gap and Bowser despite his size is still like top 15 run speed in the entire game but because of his size he's just getting hit by everything and uh, kitchen appliances and the Levin Nair gonna be taking it for Ivy that he definitely hit something in the blast zone there I'm always three steps ahead. but all the same Ivy taking game one now we have helper versus Uitz. All right, Helper Beats coming in, starting things off on a small battlefield. Helper now with the stage, posi stage positioning. Beats trying to fight his way in. Now I did run like a like a first to seven against Glutamate in this in this specific matchup. Sora is surprisingly very very annoying at contesting Joker's strong points, namely because of giant you know battering key. Yeah, I I believe that. Huge sweeping hitboxes of the aerials. It's gonna be difficult for Joker to find his way in. To, and, like, oh. I would say to the point. Okay, good DI. To the point where, like, getting Arsene and being knocked off stage is almost guaranteed death. <laughs> Ooh, very aggressive Sonic Blade there from Helper. Working out as he finds his way back into center stage. One, two. All right, and just one, two, three. Helper finding first stock. Beats trying to find some space, mixing up the landing timing with the gun, but still right just back, right just back into Helper's loving arms. Yeah, what I was about to say, but what I would like suggest doing, like if you're playing the matchup as Joker, just keep throwing out Ahas because Sora is very floaty, and you know his jump arc will almost always get him hit, and even if he like counters it, it's not really you know for much. Ooh, very, avoiding the... Yeah, that was very good. Didn't press B to actually tr to avoid triggering Tetrakarn. Yeah. Alright, up B to reverse. Uh, Beats finding one last Aegon for Arsene's troubles, but Arsene is gone now. Beats got a lot more to fight his way through for this second stock. Hasn't come up yet, but what is also very good for Joker in this matchup, in my opinion, is as... Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Good, good wait. Wow. Oh. You're still good. No, he took the hit. Okay, that's that's actually big. Him the counter as well. Making sure that Beats is not able to find any sort of momentum back into his favor. Uh, what I was going to say is, um, hasn't come up yet, but... You can absorb Blizzago with Rebel's Guard and make it a non-issue, which a lot of Soros, including Helper, will like to, you know, throw out when recovering off stage, like so. Just like that. It's definitely a great move to, like, kind of sweep the ledge clear. So we're going to see if Beats can Good start wait. to adapt that. Blizzaga is on the table right now for Helper. 
chooses to hold on to it, though. All right, wasting it there at the ledge. But Again, very close. Yeah, unfortunately, Tetracarn has a counter, just not quite DLC enough to catch the Sonic Blade there. Great tech from Helper. Oh, that would... I think Dash Tag would have just done it there. Okay. Bundaga still online for oh, Helper. That, that uh -oh. fade back up here would have been real trouble. That works too. Joker's still a very, very thin boy. Beats was oh. trying to look for a tech situation on the platform. Instead, not quite finding it. Not quite finding the hit there on the e hop. Uh -oh. oh, Helper waits for the air dodge. No, all things considered, Vitz was start was like on the road to beginning to take that back, but mm -hmm. ultimately, uh, Helper did close it out. You guys want to switch or stay on this? Um. Ooh, we do have a Dumpling King set on Station 22. Yeah, I'm who, always down for Dumpling King. Who, who doesn't love a good canon matchup? Not the same. Not the same Ganondorf, but uh, it's it's the spirit. You know, re enough. reincarnation, sure, we'll things like that. Back to like if any if any Ganondorf Whoa. were to put hands on an actual child, the Wind Waker one definitely would have. <laughs> Just putting that out there. And right now, it's definitely looking like Dumpling King is putting the hands on Spoopy. Up three stocks to one. Two stocks to one. Two stocks to one. <laughs> Definitely what I said the first time. Ooh, going out deep for that. That's and nasty. And find the pineapple as well. <laughs> Just in time for game two to begin. <laughs> Helper versus Veach. We'll be right back after these messages. Right. Not sponsored. Could there be are no, low. no sponsors to be found here. Could be, though. We have until November 15th. That's true. Bare minimum. Beats uh, was looking for the third Sonic Blade, flashing that shield, but instead just dropped the punish opportunity, unfortunately. Ooh. Oh! Oh! And finding the stock out of it. Beats with Hot a fantastic damn. pickup. Find himself now in the lead, which we just didn't see in game one. So He's now turning it all the way up. We finally get to see Veeps play with Jesus. momentum and see what he does with it. Okay, Veeps putting on your uh, Leo agenda. Ooh. Jesus. Can't remember the last time I saw two stocks in one Arsene. All right, Veeps now kind of slowing things down. No Arsene to speak of. So we're just seeing pokes and a lot of resets as well. Yo, shoot that oh child. Oh my god. Just Imagine. Barely. Imagine. <laughs> Helper just barely holding on to his third stock, not getting caught by that F smash, but Big Brother Arsene is all oh. Beats waited for the counter, but unfortunately wasn't able to capitalize. That was literally the game right there if Dude. he just double jumped. Whoa. Where are you going? Where are we going, Beats? Alright, Fire Faraga dash attack gonna be taking our Sen out of commission for this second stock. Taking Beats out of commission for the second stock as well. Now Sora can make very, very wide comebacks, so don't don't just gauge by percent differences, you know, how well this set's gonna go. Yeah, I mean Sora just gets so much out of scramble Hold situations. Mm. Oh no! And we've seen Helper's proficiency with the Sora combo game. We're going to see if he's able to find that party starter or if Beats is going to be taking us home to a game three. Uh-oh. That's a big start. And the Arsene animation actually working against Beats. Not a very common uh, turnout, I would say. All right, which way is he going? Oh, Beats wins the mini game. Uh-uh-uh. Not this time, buddy boy. Game two going to Veets. We're wasting no time getting right back into Spoopy versus Dumpling King. And we're wasting no time three. getting right back into Trapsev versus Ree. 
One sec, one sec, it's going too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, or you know, if, I uh, if this. also to consider if chat wants any stability and which game to focus on, you have the points to redeem. I know, guys, exclamation point match request in chat. If you're not sure how it works, you can uh, put in the channel points if there is a match that you guys want to see. Or if there's a match that you don't want to see and you want to counter someone else's uh, request. Now, I did catch a funny situation of this game earlier where uh, Reed threw out the tornado, Falco shined it, and then Reed caped it back. And it went back and forth until it finally broke Falco's reflector and did like <laughs> 60. Oh my god, just the, the drill, the down air. What is air? the knockback growth on me Sword Fighter down air? That seemed egregious. Very high. And high up Re is going. As Trap Set takes, I believe, game two? Yep, we have got just rapid fire sets here as we get right back into Helper versus Beats. All things come back to Helper versus Beats. All roads lead to Sora. Yeah, and in, in that time frame, Beats uh, is now a stock up. Yep. I, think he, he, I think he's figuring it out. Not quite the uh, explosive start that we saw in game two, but you could say that a, a more steady lead is Ooh. what Beats wants, you know, instead catching out oh, on, the, he... uh, mm. on the data. He actually got he actually got the footstool gun, but he uh, he jumped too high. Ooh, not able to find the up Fair smash, two but... to aerial sweep. I don't think I've ever seen that actually. Interesting. Alright, clean for Raga grab there from helper resetting back at the ledge. Sora is just so good. It's so difficult to get in on this character. Mm. Cannot be cannot be down air on beats like that. Right, look, I know the stall and fall that kills option is very, very tempting to come back to stage very fast, but uh, just gotta mind yourself. Just a tad. Very fast, very dangerous. Let's see. Okay. Whew. The counter coming in. Our Sen is now gone for Vitz, but he just gets to work on all this extra credit. Now I do like um it's been coming up like all throughout the set as a whole, but I do like how Vitz is using gun to just tack on damage on Sora as he's trying to come back to ledge. It doesn't Wow. It doesn't gip him necessarily, but that's still like seven to eight percent every time if you yeah. get it right. Yeah, I mean, Joker just so proficient in this oh. very poke style game plan. Finds mm. the reset, but doesn't read the roll, unfortunately. I love you, or Helper. Or lack thereof. I love you, Helper, but I would have popped off if he got that. <laughs> oh. Helper now with the rage, and we've seen what he can do when he finds those combo starters. But Veet's finding a That'll starter of too. his own. A stray up air is going to seal it out. Vitz continues on to, I believe, someplace in winner's top eight. <laughs> I'm going to presume. Probably. Oh, shout outs to when I wasn't here. No one updated the names. Cool. Oh. I'm, I'm Swiss. I'm Who knew? I didn't know I had such a writing talent. But no, it is I, Sonic Fiend. Welcome, one and all. Again, thank you for tuning in on this lovely Wednesday evening. We have an even Steven 32 bracket. I don't know how many players are playing Steve tonight, but... Uh, Suffice to it's say, Tri-State, so zero. Because Let's go Tri-State! We just don't have Steve players. We have one that lives on an island, and he's like nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, whatever. It is what it is. We're, we're not afraid of them. They just... Uh, they don't exist. They just know better than to show up, apparently. I don't yeah, know. They're, in, they're at home at their kindergarten. Anyway, anyway. Uh, do we want to go to... 20, 21, yeah. 1? 20's uh, about to wrap up. Is that not game one? Is it not? No, I, I'm way off. So actually, we can just do 21. That's a yeah, last time. Tra yeah, traps have that re right down there. All right, yeah, 21 station nine plus ten. Right, let's see. Oh, I won't we got talk because I'm salty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got the re switch onto the brawler. Onto oh, the sword hello. Man. Interesting. Woo. Okay, so we we have one. We have suplex. Got the shot put, obviously. Now, does he value... Pick. Well, flip jump is almost always picked. Sometimes I use headbutt just because it's very funny. <laughs> it breaks shields like nobody's business, but uh, flip kick is just the better option overall. 
Now, does he prefer recovery or actually, you know, killing at absurdly high percent? This is PS2. Oh, he's, he does, I in fact, have the, the Piston Punch. Ooh, okay. a little wall jump there, mixing up the timing for Re. <laughs> just, just the wait. Yeah. It's like, do something, you won't. Trap stuff was waiting for a hitbox or something, wasn't quite ready for the grab. Trapsef just taking his time right now. <gasps> this is a me brawler with Rick. There's no huh? way. Huh? Jesus. What? what? I'm sorry. Do you want to run that by me one more time? I like. I know that's one of the strongest S smashes in the game, bar none. But come on, bro. It's. Uh, what? Look at this. Soft nair. Boom. Couldn't even. Couldn't Stern even, him destroyed. Couldn't even put up a shield in time. Just goodbye. <laughs> Good lord. At ledge, you know, almost max rage, but it's you know, it's only if I'm, if I'm traps up, I'm I'm furious. <laughs> Same. You could see how patiently traps up was playing Damn, that entire man. time. He did not want to interact, but oops, you lost an, a neutral interaction at 48. Die. Good heavens. But uh, that's going to be the end of that, Seth. Trap Seth is moving on to some place in Loser's Top 16. Was that not? No, that was... It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, they're one, moving one? on to Game 3. Yeah, oh, Trap Seth got punched. Shut yeah. my stupid mouth. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it had proceeded to uh, Game 3 already. Do we want to hang out here? Do we want to go to another one? I, I know that Casterman Ivy is now on Game 2. If anyone in chat wants to tell me who won Game 1... And again, if Chaz has any suggestions. Yep, none, none from chat right now. But guys, if you do have the channel points, go ahead and send them our way if there's something you want to see. Just point it out there. We have a, an entire a, a smorgasbord of sets for you to watch right now, by which I mean four. All right, I guess we'll stick to 21. All right. Who doesn't like a good meat brawler? This character is very funny. Yeah, <laughs> I would say Trap Seth right now is not a huge fan of me, Brawler, but I can appreciate the comedy I, in this I'm, character. I'm not when I fight him, that's yeah. for sure. Like, me, Brawler low-key is a scary even for Sonic. <laughs> All right, I love the way that Ree is constantly positioning his shield forward against Trap Seth, just making Are sure you that gone? he's not going to be yep. poked, but instead, Trap Seth finding the, the opening... Now only 17%. Trapstep is looking good in this game three. Probably regretting leaving Battlefield as an open choice. Yeah, against a Falco, I, I don't know about I mean, I know Reed does have the Piston Punch up special, so he's, he's going to be killing absurdly low as well. Now, you are right. They both, yeah, now that you mentioned it, they both have a very similar, like, vertical combo tree, but Falco has, like... A, you know, a lot of moves to lead into that. Like all of his all of his frame traps, like Nair, like Falling Fair, things like that, up tilt as well, they all lead upwards. Brawler can't really claim to do the same thing. It's mostly down or down throw into piston punch at like specific percents. I think this is one such percent, but you also have to get on the platform. Yeah, Falco Falco very much gets to hit you from anywhere and then bring you down to the ground and then elevate you once more. Mm -hmm. Whereas Re has to find much more specific openings, and instead he's just not finding any openings at all. This is a very, oh, very different... on the head. Very different uh, game three. Drag down neutral air, oh. just like we were saying before. Ooh, cannot be jumping. That is a no-fly zone. You know what? That's also a no-fly zone. That is the latest up smash combo <laughs> starter I've ever seen. All right, weaving out of the way of the ground. Again? And that could be the stock. Okay. Not quite. No, no rage. DI. No rage, but yeah, on any other stage, that probably would have done it. Except Kalos, but... Yeah. Uh, and once again, you cannot be empty hopping in Falco's face. Mm -hmm. He just gets too much out of it and too consistently. The set goes to Trapsef. Right now, we have Dill King in a last stock situation. Ooh, mm. that's looking like a hot set. Uh oh, um, up throw. Max Rage. Uh, no I reaction. Damn. Yeah. Damn, really didn't kill? Well, Rob is heavy, but you know. Yeah. Made of iron. Mm. Oh, but at 200%, King's not going to be living that. King needed that to kill. Probably. Yeah. 
I wonder if fourth throw would have been better. Side blasts are smaller on small battlefield. You know, contrary. You know, mm -hmm. it's part of the name. Yeah, so after Dill King ends, we were supposed to do this here, but no one... Uh, anyway, this is a winner semis match, so ah. we're going to do the other semis match. We're, we'll go to normal stream. But since this one's already started, uh, it's already being recorded on by the quad stuff, we'll, we'll stick there. But uh, let's hang out with this being on, on the focus. You got right. it. Yep. Look to Helper fighting Vessel down there. Fighting for his life against the villain that is Sephiroth. Oh, I love the wait there from Dill, actually trying to catch the tether just like she did right there with the gyro. Now, Rob is a villain if ever I've seen one. <laughs> this is the villain of Smash. Absolutely. So, like, if, you, if you've if seen the... Like, if you're following, you know, Smash news, as it were, then you know about Nintendo's latest and greatest addressing of competitive standard play. Good heavens, King, what just happened? Gyro do be a menace. But there, like, there's this joke going around, be like, oh, you know, third parties could also like pull the plug if they were so inclined for whatever mm -hmm. reason. They're not going to do that. None of them care. I think so anyway. But they were like, oh, this means all the third parties are banned. The game is saved. I'm just like, Rob is still here. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, you could take out the Sonics, the Steves, the uh, Soras, or what have you. But uh, that just leaves Rob, Mimin, and Aegis top eights all Ugh. over the place. So uh, take your take your poison. Yeah. King looking for some pressure here at the ledge, not quite finding it. Great little pick up there with the back Ooh. air. Another one? Ooh, not quite. Great air dodge from Bill. I'm surprised that missed. That force smash is ginormous. Good DI. Yep, waits out the Pokemon switch, but uh, King holding on. Yeah, these, these backers are a little telegraphed. Oh, mm. uh, not quite sure what happened there. I think King maybe was expecting he to might have gotten a, the ledge. He might have gotten a, like, he did tech, but I think it, like, it teched in such a way that made him slide off the edge of the stage, so he probably wasn't ready for it. Mm -hmm. Man, the game yeah. one was looking so promising, but... Dill is just ready to take this all the way home. And... And goodbye, the spinning arms. King standing up before the the, the game is even called. Yeah, he, he knew what it was. The set going to Dill. Alright, so... All right, so... Helper won a game. I don't know if it was the first game. Uh, they're still sitting down in the Gamer Dungeon, so I'm assuming that they're moving on yeah. into Game 2. Shouts to everyone who came out here tonight. Remember, especially now, in the wake of literally what happened Please. yesterday, support your local scene. Please and thank you. It is scary out here. Also, we're, we are going to, uh... We are going to be moving on to John versus Veet. Oh, that should be fun. Once players are sat down and locked in.